Maverick, it's a joy to have you back. So after a year and a half of having absolutely no running tap water on this blimmin' narrow boat, yeah, we got a running water on this uh, blimmin' narrow boat. It was a bloody nightmare. Here we go. So this was Becca's second attempt of trying to get the water going. <sighs> what is it? Fuse wasn't the entire problem. However, when I was looking in the fuse box there, I also noticed something else, and it was one of the wires, which is a power in like wire into the fuse box, was disconnected. Now, I'm a little bit unconfident about fiddling around with the electrics and stuff, so I think it's time to call in a professional. Am I speaking to a professional? So for those that have been with us for a while, you should uh, remember the Maverick. Yeah, he was originally trying to plumb in the water and if you remember, he uh, installed the wrong kind of tank, a household tank, instead of a marine tank and it bloody blew up, do you remember? I hope you take that screw fix and get a refund. Guilty as charged. Screw fix don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> we just say that's how it was when he took it out. Yeah. They're a good bunch, I'm sure they want my refund in a little bit of a cup of pipe, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely bunch of screw things. Highly recommend it. Links below. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody mockery of me. <laughs> So yeah, these are the sort of people that a crowbot mingle with, so that's what you're up against on this channel. <laughs> okay, so while we wait for the Maverick to show up, Becca has new plans for our little stove. Uh, I was hoping it made the sizzle, but it's obviously not quite hot enough. This week in Becca's Bowie Kitchen, we are making stew on the stove. Bar biscuit. Found in me beef, put it on the stove and let it cook from the heat of the fire for like hours and hours until this should just melt in your mouth. Uh, the best stews are the ones that cook for days and then you can just keep adding to it and it'll feed you for like days and days. The celery freaks me out a little bit. Don't know why. Well, you'll just have to live with it, I'm afraid. Does this weird you out? This for the stew. Love a mushroom. Love the fungi. I forgot the most important thing. Garlic! There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight delicious cloves. Cl cloves there. <laughs> oh, there may be six cloves now. <laughs> yeah. I imagine you've got to put some sort of sauce in there as well, haven't you? So now I've just got to make... Really enthusiastic. So now I'm gonna make the stock. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's it. This is Planet Crowbot. This isn't bloody, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of someone who, Mrs. Goggins' little recipe kitchen. This is Hell's Kitchen. So the idea here is we leave this bubbling away on the stove preferably overnight, but we'll just be doing it until the, the, the Maverick leaves and then we can cosy up and tuck into our lovely little stew. It's about time. <laughs> For the time. This is mad. Hand me up. This is the sort of stuff real narrow boat is eat. And just in time for the Maverick's arrival. So I think that's all connected up all right. Does it look roughly right to you? But there's no power seem to come into the pump. Do you see the bottom of the fuse there? He's looking in there, he's looking in there. <laughs> Ratings have slipped. I'm not a piece of meat. There he goes, he's back, he's back. Just chuck it on the pile, Becca. <laughs> <laughs> in there the Maverick. It's all live, the whole setup's still live at the moment, so that's how he operates. I don't see why it's not working. No. Oh, looks. Where's that one Suddenly, power! Um, what have you got? Uh, just a loose wire. Was that it, the one that needed yeah, yeah, plugging yeah. in? You know what, I was looking at that, I was like, I bet you that's what it is, but I'll... So, a loose connection it seemed in the, in the little fuse box. Right, let's get some water into the tank. 
Yeah, it would probably help if we put some water in the tank too, wouldn't it? We're getting close, guys. Is that going? Oh, look, there she is. The pride of eating soaking. I'm like a gargoyle on the front of the boat, like all hunched over. Check my fire. I've got this going today. Oh, look at it. I tell you what, I've never seen it spin so rapid. When I get this fire going, it's like, no, 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 with Bex, it's stopping, starting, going slow. That is rapid. Lies, I actually started the fire. Well, you started it, and then someone had to come and take it over. I'll tell you what, I've got to, we have to get some bloody yeah. things on there, don't we? One on there. A little one. I like the competition. This is the problem with me. When I start doing things well and good, I'm dangerous because I get really cocky. Not saying that I've done that really good <laughs> or anything, but if I do start getting good at it, you'll start seeing lots of things being thrown around. And at the moment, I'm still a bit like, how do I make it go out? <laughs> okay. You know, we've got the bloody internet. Does <laughs> <laughs> it move? Yeah, I can pivot it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stick your ear on it, see if you can hear it. Go on, have a look up the spout. This <laughs> <laughs> is straight in. I think it is. Well, we've got a noise coming, so that's good. Well, we're, yeah, we're one step closer. Yeah, sometimes you can hear it out. Definitely isolated that end. Panic as we missed one of the pipes in the bathroom, yet I think we isolated all of them, bar the one that was connected to the old flush on the toilet. So the Maverick completely shut off water to the bathroom and decided it's best that we just work on the kitchen for now. Yay! Woohoo! What do you reckon? I'm so excited. There's actually water coming out the tap. <laughs> Maverick, it's a joy to have you back. I'll talk to you in a bit. <laughs> and off he went, the Maverick. <laughs> So in the end, it was just that disconnected cable at the back of the Audi boiler. Holy macaroni. There's that stew goodness. Stew, stew, stew. Feed me, feed me. Feed me your lovely stew, Rebecca Crowbot. So now what you do, you grab a spoon and you dish the little f***er up. What do we do? I don't know. I'm a natch. Oh, natch. Natural. Have we not got a spoon? We haven't got a big spoon right. already. Looks like we've got to try and dish it up. <laughs> I like went to all this effort to make this stew and then I was like, oh look at this and Chris is like, I don't really like stew. You know, if there's a dumpling involved or a bit of bread, we're playing. But no, I do like stew. I always think it's just a bit like, but you also said you weren't really that into stews. Got the old potato gratin. Bread with it too, don't we? <laughs> Terminator 3 tonight, but do not worry. We've just been working our way through like every single Terminator film. All six or seven of them, including Salvation, which is one of my personal favorites. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger, and welcome to our DVD of Terminator 3. I bet the carrot's good. So I hope you enjoy this DVD. Hmm. I'll be back. That's good. I've changed my mind on Stu. This is lovely. Good old Stu, eh? And it adds to it a bit being on a narrow boat and having this sort of thing, because it's like the old cauldron. Do you know what I mean? Bubbling away. With all the sort of, yeah, it's camping style isn't it? Yeah, a bit of just melts in your mouth, that carrot does. 